I test drove a car from Carvana, but returned it within the seven day window. This is my review and experience. While I think Carvana may be the future of car buying, I'm going to explain why the car I selected wasn't for me. My name is Josh and you're watching the Bread Chasers YouTube channel where we discuss personal finance, investing, and ways to help you achieve financial success. I learned a lot from my recent car buying experience, so I wanted to help guide you in the right direction. Make sure you drop a like if you find this video helpful. And if you're new to Carvana, it's kind of like the Amazon for cars. It's a website with thousands of used vehicles, lots of excellent photos showing details on each one, free Carfax reports, and once you purchase the vehicle, they'll deliver it directly to your home for free if you're in a local market like I was. Plus, you have a seven day, 400 mile period to test and inspect it. If you don't like the car, they will come and pick it up for free, and you can do this up to three times. Here's how it unfolded for me. I had been saving up for a new car all year, and I was interested in the Toyota 4Runner because I needed a bigger car for my lifestyle. I also wanted something that would hold its value. Most cars depreciate very, very quickly. It took a few years to find a good 4Runner because they go very, very fast on the site. As soon as I saw one reasonably priced with all the features, I reserved it and started going through the purchase process. Everything was very straightforward and easy. There are no negotiations like you would typically do at the dealership. Carvana seemed to be very transparent about the imperfections with the car, and they did provide close-ups of the scratches and such. The associate who dropped off the car was very friendly and was happy to answer all of my questions. But then, during the seven-day trial, I began to notice some things that were wrong with my car. And by the way, this is my personal experience. I'm not saying this is how it is for everyone. But for example, there were more scratches and more imperfections than originally pictured on the website listing. And I wasn't going to complain about this too much, but then I noticed some other things like the sunroof wasn't working and the passenger side mirror wouldn't turn when I pushed the button. And this was concerning. And the most disappointing thing was to find out that this specific forerunner didn't have four -wheel, the four wheel drive, which is something that I wanted. It didn't have four wheel drive. I thought this was a feature that was included, but it wasn't. The total cost was 35,000. This was a 2015 with 50K miles. And it just didn't simply seem like a good deal once I learned about all, the, all these things later during the seven day trial. I wish it was made more clear on the website. I will take fault in the four wheel drive part because I could have done a little bit of digging to find out that I didn't have four wheel drive, but the broken sunroof and the passenger side mirror, this was never mentioned on the website along with the other car, uh, along with the other imperfections. The return process was also not as easy as they made it seem. I had to be on the phone multiple times with customer service for over an hour just to get on the line with someone to tell them that I needed to return the car before the deadline, the seven day deadline. And once I was on the phone, they didn't, well, they didn't give me too much difficulty, but they did ask a few questions about why I was returning the car. They did schedule the pickup time and they came a few days later. I must say, a good thing is that the attendant picking up the car was just as kind as the one who dropped it off. I attempted to then find another car on Carvana, but they didn't have any that met my specifications. So then I tried Facebook instead and instantly found a 2017 4Runner SR5 Premium for 27,000 with 60K miles and four wheel drive. I did have to drive six hours to go get the car with my mom. I did get it thoroughly inspected by a top mechanic in the area. And now I've had the car for five months and I'm perfectly happy with it. The point of this story is to explain to you that if you're looking for a used car, you might not wanna go with Carvana and it might be better to just do a little bit more digging. I can almost guarantee you that you will find a better deal on the car you want by doing a little bit more digging. I saved about $8,000 by using Facebook Marketplace instead of Carvana. Now, going this route is a little bit riskier in some ways, but I'm just sharing my experience. Carvana can give you a peace of mind, but they might not give you financial peace, right? With their inflated prices. Um, their listings tend to be on or above the high end of the Kelly Blue Book car values. So I hope this video helped. Uh, make sure you drop a like if you found it to be helpful. And uh, thank you so much for watching all the way through. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video.